guys, so for today's video I've joined up with Liberty of London Scarves and I'm going to be doing for you guys a tutorial, two turban tutorials in fact, this style that I have on right now and this one. The scarf that I'm going to be using for this look is the one that is currently on my head, obviously, and it is the Hera design from Liberty London and it is full of gorgeous peacock feathers, as you can kind of see, but you kind of can't see, but you can see in this clip now. I'm going to give you a small history lesson on the print of the scarf as well. The Hera design, credited to Arthur Silver, the founder of the Silver Studio in 1887, first printed by Liberty in the mid-1890s. Hera has been in the Liberty range ever since. The peacock feather was a much used symbol during the aesthetic movement of the 1880s. And it is gorgeous, I must say. It's a massive square scarf, for those of you wondering, and I'm going to show you two looks. One is using it as a rectangle scarf and one is using it as a traditional triangle turban look. Not only am I going to be giving you guys two turban tutorials, we're also doing a prize draw where you will get a chance to win one of your own Liberty of London scarves. So you can enter either YouTube or Instagram. You must be 16 years or over and you can only enter if you're from the countries that Liberty ship to. I'll leave a link in the description so you can see the list of countries that you have to be from, but I think we're all fine. Um, what else? Okay, if you want to enter on YouTube, then all you have to do is comment below. I'm mentioning Dina Tokyo, me, and Liberty London. Share the video, of course. And you have until the 20th of January, midnight. If you want to enter on Instagram, then head over to my Instagram page, Dina Tokyo, and you will see a picture, and in the caption, it will read, Surprise draw details, blah, blah, blah. All you have to do is regram that picture, and comment below tagging Dina Tokyo and Liberty London using the hashtag Liberty Scarves. Okay? The winner will be chosen at random. You will win one Liberty London scarf worth about 300 quid, guys. So it's a good prize draw to enter. Okay? And it's the Paradise Gardens uh, design, and you'll be able to pick whatever colour you like. Obviously, subject to availability and all that kerfuffle. Okay, so. Let's get started. Stick around to the end of the video where you'll also get to see how I styled my outfit. So you're getting a prize draw, you're getting two turban tutorials and an outfit of the day. It's basically like four videos in one, so enjoy! So what I wear underneath my uh, turban, guys, is just a really small black scarf tied up around my bun. And all I'm going to do for this look is fold the scarf in half so you're going to get one corner and fold it over to the opposite corner to make a triangle and then I just placed it on my head as you can see then I'm going to bring the two edges um, and tie them across my head to create a knot like this nice and tightly and then flick it over yes. I'm going to grab one side and all I'm going to do is bring that around the back and tuck it nice and tightly underneath um, the tie we've already made and then all I'm going to do is get the other side and wrap it around to create extra volume, the base of my scarf. And then I'm going to tuck it in to the first part and just make sure it's nice and secure there. And the floppy bit at the front, you're going to sort of do what you like with it. I'm sort of twisting it around slightly and then tucking it in at the back also. Um, you can use pins if you want, or if you don't want to make holes in your scarf, then just use like um, hair clips. And that's the final look, guys. It's quite nice and simple, actually. I hope you like it. And I'm back again with my volume underneath. This time around, I've got the scarf and I folded it in half to create a sort of pashmina style because it's doubled over it is going to be slightly thicker I've got one short side and then one really long side placed on my head I'm just going to make sure that the frayed edge of the um, Liberty scarf is at the back as well and the folded edge is at the front of my head and all I'm going to do is you know sort it out around my forehead I'm going to grab both ends from behind as you can see and I'm just going to swap the sides over and pull nice and tightly. And then we're going to get the that short side and just place it um, on the side of the head. You can either pin it or just hold it there until we get the long side and wrap it over that short side nice and securely. 
and then you can either make a knot at the back or you can use hairpins or safety pins whatever you prefer guys so I've got the long side there and I'm just tucking the short side all inside it so sort of just bringing it around the head there it is from the back pulling it tightly as you go along and the final piece I'm just tucking into that fold we created by wrapping it around and that is pretty much the look I'm just messing around with it here perfecting the folds here and there the poofiness of it how high you want it the edge around the face if you want to bring it to the front or if you want to pull it back to make your face more even whatever you fancy guys that's the look also pretty simple but one of my most regular turban looks